Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And we're talking about section one of accounting for e-commerce businesses. And we're talking about the master SKU list. This is the first thing that I figured out needed to be set. And I've seen a number of companies now where I've recognized this as an issue. And it's the first thing that needs to be done. It's the foundation of every e-commerce business, as far as I'm concerned, is setting up what I call the master SKU list. Because here's what happens. You have, you're an e-commerce seller. You have an Amazon channel. You have an eBay channel. You're selling on Shopify. You're selling on Top Hatter, OneSale, all these different sales channels. Of course, you're on websites. And each of these sales channels has some or all of your product, right? And all those products have to be tracked in terms of inventory. And in the inventory management system, which we're assuming for now is going to be QuickBooks Online, because as long as you have simple inventory, I buy it and then I sell it, hopefully at a higher price than I bought it for, then in, QuickBooks Online is well equipped to manage this. But what happens is QuickBooks Online has to have one SKU per product. And on these different sales channels, what I've seen is that most of you have different SKUs. Sometimes you have multiple versions of the same product on the same sales channel, which I get that's for SEO purposes, but that has to be able to be mapped back to the one product that exists in QuickBooks Online so that when a sale is made, inventory can be tracked properly. Without that link, it's a mess. And from what I've seen, very few people, when I come into the picture in the beginning, seem to have that mapping set up. They don't seem to have that tracking. And if anything, there may be multiple versions of the same product in QuickBooks Online because there's two different versions of the product out there on sales channels, which means I have two items in QuickBooks Online that in theory need to be added together to get the right inventory. And that's a mess. That can't happen. It can't work like that. Because imagine that times a thousand products, right? Just not going to work. So the master SKU list is going to be critical. And this first section walks you through two different products. So I originally built the process in Smartsheet. Then when I started playing with Airtable, I said this is an even better product for the purpose, but it also gets more expensive than Smartsheet very quickly. So if it's something you're going to use for a lot of other things and, and you have the budget, then by all means, I recommend Airtable. If not, use Smartsheet. It's cost effective and it's also very, very powerful. Either tool will work very well for you to set up and track and manage your master SKU list.